But tonight, having learnt from the mistakes I made before, I intend to serve up not just the best food, but the best ambiance and the best vibe. So yeah, after tonight, everything's academic. Mate, on a personal level, I look forward to it. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Going into something with a huge degree of confidence always guarantees a win. Changing the game here with the Italian dish. Well, I would be if I knew the pans were kept. The pans, they are below you, I believe. Well, now there's no stopping me. Now I know the pans are. When the artist has his brushes. Exactly. Here's the little cute pan from Matt's Vegan Edition. Wait, what's happened here? Disaster. Disaster. Everything started to go a little bit. With Pete Tom. I'm mm -hmm. so in control of the situ that nothing's really an issue. Well, give myself an hour. Don't need an hour, but I figure, you know, slow and steady wins the race. True. So right. I just need to do a little uh, supermarket trip. I do. I'm hoping, though, that maybe that Waitrose will have tin tomatoes so I don't need to go too crazy. How did I forget that? Did I forget it? Tin tomatoes? Forgotten for a uh, pasta based dish. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Oregano got. Crushed chilies got, red currant jelly got, Worcestershire sauce got, pasta got. The best thing about cooking is to be well prepared before you go into it. So there's no stress. Those, I need one, two, three. No, that Worcestershire sauce isn't vegan. Is it not? No. Oh really, I'll not do that in yours. So that was one big pan. It's a huge pan, man, but I'm feeding the 5,000 here. I'm not going to make a mistake that arguably somebody might have made during this process, which is not making quite enough food. I wonder who that could be. I am. The vino's ready, the plates are ready. I feel like I'm cooking school dinners with this pan, man. It's so big. But at least these are getting hot now, I think. That's coming. Yeah, that's fucked. That's nuts. I think it's under the oven. Oh man, fuck for that. Surely it's oregano. Yeah, I mean, the vegan option is definitely um, has suffered from a bit of an aggressive induction hob. But the main version is cooking with a few, so hopefully. It's been a great place. And Matt's quite a trooper, so I think he'll appreciate it either way. Exactly that. I have man, baby. And I also need vegan mints. I'm really hoping it's alright. How much is in here? I mean, I've got literally no idea what this is going to be like for Matt, see? So. Prepping the vegan stuff first just to be safe, yeah? <coughs> wow. Mints, what is that? Vegan know. mints? Must be. Love mint, love lamb. Fucking really love mint. You really can't go wrong with mint. Mm. I genuinely don't think you can ever use too much. No. It's good in drinks, it's good in food. Drinks, food. The mintier, the better. Mate, you are talking my language. Because that way that you were going to do it would have been... Hardcore? Yeah. Legendary. So I thought it was about time to uh, bust a knife on this tin. How did the Fuck. guitarist lose his fingers? Fuck! Fuck, it's brutal, isn't it? Is there anything that makes you more nervous than shit like this? No! Oh my god, look, gnarled metal. Oh. Maybe go around it one more time with the tin opener. Just get through this little bit. Yeah, Sweet. yeah. Oh no, no, I can't engage the opener. No, it's because you fucked it. It's I moosed it. Must be the jar in there for Matt. You just like to live on that like risky edge. Do. The white clothes with the uh, tomato sauce. Yeah, the tomato sauce. It's not a game I like to play. Just applied the uh, red currant jelly. I mean, Matt looks like pretty vile. I'm not gonna lie. I've got absolutely no idea. It's horrific. As long as it tastes good. I'm mean, giving it the same degree of love as I'm giving ours, so you never know. Smells good, looks good, 
There's no stress going on in the kitchen, is there, so? I don't know, I'm feeling, <laughs> feeling a few little pranks going on, but hopefully, hopefully I can keep it nice and controlled. You can, mate. Feeling all good, sir? Yeah, mate, I'm feeling um, renewed with confidence. Now everything's cooking. All I need to do is keep a, keep a tight ship, keep stuff clean, prep well, and I'll be in a good place. Dude, this big pot is filling as we speak. Coming from the boil on either side. Pasta's in. Pasta's in, everything's going well. The pasta cauldron. This is school dinners. You want some of our sloppy joes? <laughs> Al dente, badente. That's not how you sprinkle salt. Slow-mo that shit, make me look deep. <laughs> Basically there, Sly, already? We're good to go, though. Really? Like, draining this beast is gonna be a fucking thing and a half. I hate to say it. Yeah. What's wrong, Bobby? Uh, I feel strange. Jelly strange. No, I just feel, oh. I feel, un, like, unsettled. You're not really dressed for dinner, to be honest, are you? It's a nice places. Yeah, this is coming from the guy in the trucky beams. <laughs> That's streetwear, man. And what's this? Magaluf shit, You're I don't know. You were t-shirt yesterday when you were singing. Oh, it's a day old t-shirt. I'll go change. Yeah. <laughs> That's some good ladle um, control. Yeah, like, brand new variants of Monica Fred. It's so pretty, isn't it? Is he made to Courtney Cox? Yeah. Really? What's he called again? So, Yo. What happened? Um, I made a bit I'll of a heinous you. error. I just put full of meat on Matt's plate. Oh no! Fuck. Yeah. And I served Matt up after going to all that effort to make a vegan meal. I served him a delicious load of lamb. Yeah, I need to do fresh pasta, but there's no pasta left though. There's somebody coming. Fuck. Could you just... somebody help me out with that? You... Having said that though. Oh. I'll just do some spaghetti. Yeah. Mate, I'm so sorry. I wasn't thinking if I served it up. Right. Matt's hard been waiting way. fucking all evening for this meal. Cheers, Simon. Cheers, Simon. Cheers. 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 He's even brought out the bods just for extra marks. That's the entertainment. Apparently the there's, gonna be two there's gonna be two yeah. meals each. Oh, okay. Nice that mint was amazing. Yeah, it's oh, really man, nice In the back of my mouth, it's got a little taste. The roof and the back. Mm. Hitting parts of my mouth, I didn't even know I'd yeah. sense sensory taste nerves. Taste What's the word? <laughs> taste buds. That's it. <laughs> so you're gonna have to send this rest. This meat's amazing. Mint. Oh uh, yeah, why not? Mmm. Alright. Simon's like lamb ragu vegan version adapted with some meat-free mints it was um i mean I, it was enjoyable but i did end up having to like watch everyone else eat and make my own pasta cooking your meal that si made for you oh, for yourself yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. it's going to be interesting when you mark that oh, okay. I'll leave it. Yeah, do you mark yourself or do you mark si i guess it's a combined score <laughs> we'll see what the judges say Honest, easy mistake. We had this lovely thick tagliatelle, served it all up, and then just in a rush, he was dishing out his like lamb ragu, and he just put it on all the plates, and then he was like, oh, I mean, to be fair, he was mortified, but. I'm so sorry about that. Point terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Mum was delayed. I was just trying to keep it warm, and it's drying out a little bit, maybe. I had to make my own spaghetti. Everyone else just finished their dinner. Then I sat down, and it was nice. I enjoyed it, but the experience was detracted from by an honest mistake, but a mistake all the same. It was nice, it probably wasn't quite what he intended because of the, the lack of the lamb being taken away.
probably the soy mince didn't react in the same way. It wasn't quite the same fat content. It probably needed an extra tweak, maybe some olive oil or something. So I think all things considered, especially bearing in mind some of the strength of some of the other meals, it's probably kind of around a five. Yeah, Jace. Yeah. Simon's minty spaghetti. Simon's minty spaghetti. Yeah. Eight. Eight. Very good. Look plain, didn't taste it. Simple, Jace loves simple. Simple but different. I go eight, eight, eight to nine on that. Eight. Eight, yeah, go eight. That was nice. Okay, I said eight. <laughs> it was nice, but I felt it was very sweet and perhaps too sweet for my tastes and lacking a, like a depth of flavour. It was just sweet and a bit minty. But I enjoyed it still. So I'll give him a... Six. A six. Simon's Lamb Dish. Um, very hyped. Um, he told us uh, he'd never taste uh, lamb quite like this. Um, and to be brutally honest, uh, it kind of just tasted like a bit of a pasta sauce. Good pasta sauce. Um, couldn't really taste the lamb coming through, probably because we've had uh, pasta relatively recently. Uh, Tom did pasta the week before. Uh, we'd already had um, you know, a fair amount of kind of tomato-based dishes. While it was really good, I don't think it really blew our minds like he was hoping. Yeah, very delicious though. Um, very tasty, I'll definitely eat it again. Uh, probably a little bit on the sweet side. Um, so I'm gonna give it a four. Four. Cool.